Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Peter Prolox. I'm here to do the preview for the game on New Year's Day between Newcastle United against Leicester City, which will be a three o'clock kickoff at St. James's Park. And this game will also be live on BT Sport as well. Newcastle came off the back of a 2-1 home defeat to Everton. And Leicester City came off the back of a 2-1 away win to West Ham. And look where Leicester City are sitting in, in the table as well. Second place. There is a reason why they are sitting in that position uh, in the league. You've got to give credit to Brendan Rodgers for the way he's got that team playing. And very well organised there as well. And um, for us, this will not this will be a very tough game indeed. Defensively, we cannot afford to be look like we're going to be falling asleep. Because if we do that, like we have done in the past two games where we've managed to switch off and we've conceded goals and drop points and come away with nothing out of the uh, particularly out of the last two games, Leicester will absolutely humiliate us big style. There you go. They've got players like JV Vardy, who is capable of scoring a bag full of goals. Yes, he's 32 years old, old, uh, but he certainly does not play like a 32-year-old. You're thinking, he looks still, you could, could probably think, is this guy still in his like, 20s or something like that? Uh, look at the way he is scoring goals for that team. They've also got players like James Madison, and also returning to his former club uh, as well, Ayose Perez as well. There you go. I also like the look of Telemans, uh, Harvey Barnes. So, yes, we definitely have to be on my guard, particularly defensive. Because, as I said, we do not want the... Otherwise, they could punish us big style. And look what happened back in September when we went down to the King Power Stadium. We got absolutely humped. 5-0. There you go. We really just hope that does not happen uh, again, because my God, as I said, Leicester are very capable of hitting a team on their day. Uh, Newcastle, apparently there could have been injury doubts to maybe Fabian Cher, possibly Joe Linton, maybe DeAndre Yedlin, that, another one that I might have heard. But again, we'll just have to... Um, Wait and see when Steve Bruce gives his press conference out uh, to see who will be uh, fit for the game and who will um, also uh, who also is not fit enough uh, to uh, come into the game uh, so far. Now let's get into the predicted lineup of what Steve Bruce might go with on New Year's Day against Leicester City. So start off in goal. It's going to be Martin Dabravka. He's been a fantastic goalkeeper for us. And he's kept winning games a lot of the time. And he just cannot be dropped uh, so far at the moment. Uh, into the back three. And I think Steve Bruce will definitely keep that. Uh, I'm going to still stick with Fabian Chair if he's fit. Uh, also in the middle, Federico Fernandez, And also, I am actually going to keep Florian Lejeune in there. He didn't look fit against him. Um, uh, evident by the look of it, he had a really off game, I thought. But... We've, the, the thing is, we've got Lascelles out and we've still got Kieran Clark out. So you're thinking, who could slot in there? Well, um, just wait and see. So that is the back three I'm going to go with. Into the wing backs, I'm going to bring back in Javier Manquio. Hopefully, he sh maybe should be ready for this game now. He has been a massive improvement, uh, I would say. And um, yeah, I would like to see him back in, in the team. In the left wing back spot, I am obviously going to stick with Jeshua Willems uh, as well. And I think this lad's done very well for us this season. And as I said, I really hope we buy this lad on a permanent deal. So, yeah. Into the two centre midfielders, I'm going to stick with John Joe Shelby and Isaac Hayden. It was good to see them back uh, for the Everton game. I think I like I think Hayden has been a massive improvement uh, as well uh, this season so far, and yeah, and John Joe Shelby, I'm glad uh, Steve Bruce uh, put his faith in them because it looks like he thought he was going to be shafted out the door when he was um, when uh, Rafa Benitez was still manager here at this football club, but I'm just glad Steve Bruce put his faith in him and he started to play him. 
uh, so far. And of course, in the attacking areas, I'm going to still keep with Miguel Almiron. Was very unlucky not to score against Everton. He probably could have had maybe had one or two goals, possibly, but just wasn't to be. And um, I'm act I'm also going to keep an Andy Carroll. And I would mind. I would actually. I'm going to s uh, give Dwight Gale a chance uh, for this game uh, as well. As I said, we don't know if Jolin is fit, but as you said. I'm still not convinced with Joe Linton, even though another fa other fans are are on the same uh, convinced by him uh, as well so far. But I wouldn't, I actually wouldn't mind get seeing Dwight Gill to see how he does. There, so there you go. That is my uh, predicted lineup uh, for the game against Leicester City. Score prediction. <laughs> oh, oh my word! Really, we've got to be on my guard. Defensively, we can't afford to fall asleep, unfortunately. But score prediction, I'm going to go with. I'm going to go for a 2 2 draw. I think we are at home because we are at home, sorry. The, it'll probably be a sellout game, even though it is on New Year's Day where no public transport is going to be running. I think fans will still be, may still be on their way to get to the game, definitely. So. Yes, and hopefully, and I think the crowd will be behind the team as well. So I'm going to be positive. I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw. So there you go. That is my my predicted lineup and also score prediction for the game uh, as well. Let me know in the comments section what you think. How will we go in this game? What will your predicted lineup be and your score prediction uh, as well? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like. A comment as i've said and if you haven't checked me out before please make sure you do hit that subscribe button uh keep an eye out of course for the review for the leicester city uh, game as always hopefully some more fifa videos and as i said hopefully for the 500 subscriber q a video as well and i shall see you all later take care